Welcome wrestling fans, this is Al Leung and you are watching night two of Middle Kingdom Wrestling's Belt and Road Championship Tournament. History is gonna be made here tonight. A new Belt and Road Champion will be crowned and we're gonna kick things off with second round semi-final action triple threat match. First competitor we're about to see. Austrian anarchist Martin Payne. We got here to the second round by defeating Vladimir Kulikov. Let's take a look at the footage. The dominance of Martin Payne. If you haven't watched this matchup, make sure you check it out. MKW's YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Middle Kingdom Wrestling. This match was one of the most viewed matches so far in this entire tournament. Check out how Martin Payne put Kulikov away with that Death Valley bomb. Martin Payne looks ready for the second round. Martin Payne looks like he's ready to go all the way. Are we looking at our next MKW Belt and Road Champion? We're about to find out. Balian Aki from India. Is he ready for the pain of Martin Payne? Balian Aki advanced to the second round by defeating Philippine Santana at night one. High flying athlete from India. At one point during his match with Sandata, he his face went face first into the canvas from a Hurricanrana. Let's check out the replay from YouTube. Great first round action. This is the spot I was talking about face first into the mat. He might have been legitimately knocked out there. But Aki fought through. Hits this devastating neck breaker. Picks up the victory and moves on here to the second round. He's gonna be taking on Martin Payne and Black Mamba in this triple threat match. Who's gonna advance to the finals? Black Mamba advanced to the second round by defeating the former MKW World Champion Selfie King Hong Wan. Many considered that match an upset, but this is a new Black Mamba. New tights, new haircut, new attitude. Black Mamba, of course, representing China and also right here in Harbin. Hometown hero, Black Mamba. What an ovation he's getting right now from the hometown fans. But what a celebration it would be if Black Mamba were able to win the MKW Belt and Road Championship Tournament. Let's take a look at the replay, courtesy of YouTube and his match against Selfie King Hong Wan. What a match this was, spinning kick, moon salts. Anything you can think of, but Black Mamba with the rolling cutter. And just like that, he managed to pick up the victory against Selfie King Hong Wan. And now he is in this triple threat match here in the second round against Martin Payne and Valiant Aki. Make sure you check out that match on YouTube. There goes the opening bell, triple threat action here at MKW. Oh, look at that. Martin Payne and Aki teaming up on Black Mamba first. I'm quite surprised at that, if anything. Black Mamba and Aki should double team. To me, the biggest threat of the match, Martin Payne. But now it's gonna be a one-on-one. -on -one. Aki versus Payne. Martin Payne, the strongest man in this match. Nice shoulder check by Aki. Martin Payne go for a hip toss, but Aki managed to land on his feet. Hits a drop kick onto Payne. Here comes Black Mamba with a drop kick of his own. Takes down Malian Aki. But watch out for Martin Payne coming back once again. Both men double teaming on Black Mamba. 
Interesting strategy by Payne and Naki. Perhaps they see Black Mamba as the biggest threat of this match, being the hometown favorite here in Harbin, China. What a clothesline by Martin Payne. He just brought the pain to, to the head of Black Mamba. Payne and Aki appears to be getting a lot. Oh, wait. No honor amongst these. Aki with the roll up, but just got a two count. This is what I like to see. Every man for themselves. Martin Payne launches Aki to the outside, but he almost got caught in the ropes there. Balian Aki landed hard outside of the ring here at Harbin, China. And now Martin Payne going to continue to work on Black Mamba. And I just want to remind all the fans that this is a triple threat. One fall to the finish match. This is not an elimination match. Black Mamba trying to chop down the tree of Martin Payne. But with just one chop, Payne takes down Black Mamba. Martin Payne scooping up Black Mamba. Slams him down with authority. But here comes Balianaki off the top rope. Missile drop kick. Looked like it hit the back of the neck of Martin Payne. Great strategy of, of this triple threat match. Take out one of the opponents and make it just a one-on-one. -on -one so no one can break up the count. Valiant Aki. Oh, look at that. Black Mamba. Flying head scissors. In comes Martin Payne. But gets knocked down by Black Mamba. Black Mamba. House of Fire. Taking everybody out. Man, what would it mean for Black Mamba if he could win this whole thing? Family and friends are in attendance, but easier said than done. Look at that, Frankensteiner by Balian Aki. What a bad spot for Black Mamba to land in, right into the hands of Martin Payne. Watch out for Balian Aki, puts on the brakes, decides to jump on the apron and just jumps on the shoulders of Martin Payne, but it looks like it took out Black Mamba in the process. Malian Aki, what is he going to go for here? High risk maneuver, what a dive that was. Unbelievable tope dive by Balian Aki. This guy wants to go to the finals and win it all. Balian Aki, not only one of the best Indian wrestlers today, but he wants to prove that he's one of the best in the world, representing India, wrestling out of Wrestle Square promotion. Oh, hard to keep Martin Payne down. Over 10 years of experience, Aki's kidney is going straight to the hardest part of the ring. Black Mamba trying to get some offense in there, but no cigar. Martin Payne, ever so dominant, throws both of them back into the ring. Martin Payne really enjoys this part of the underground wrestling scene in Austria. They fight literally anywhere, and now... Everybody hitting each other in this triple threat match. Forearm shots to everyone, and nobody is going down. All three men wants to go to the finals. All three men wants the MKW Belt and Road Championship. Oh, look at that. Super kick, double super kick by Bamba and Aki. The double team didn't last too long. Suplex by Black Mamba. Mamba could go for the pen right now. Could, could pick up the victory. Perhaps took a little too long. And Martin Payne breaks up the count. Martin Payne, in my opinion, the favorite to win this match. Taking it to Black Mamba. Looks like he might go for that Death Valley bomb. That's how he beat Vladimir Kulikov. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, look at that. Drop salt. Pins Black Mamba. This is it. No. Aki kind of grazed Martin Payne in the head with a kick, but it was enough to break up the count. Aki, serious of offense. Nice kick to the back of the head of Black Mama, and down he goes. Martin Payne is still down. Now Aki has his eyes set on Martin Payne. Gonna dish out some offense to him. But you should let Martin Payne get back up. Scoop power slam. Is Payne going to go for the cover? No, looks like he's going to dish out more punishment to Balian Aki. The power of Martin Payne lifts up Aki. Going to go for the F5, but no, Balian Aki reverses with a DDT. This is it. Balian Aki advances to the finals. No, Black Mamba breaks up the count. Just in the nick of time. Black Mamba front face lock. 
swing through to an inverted DDT. Valiant, oh, he is down. Black Mamba can win this. This is it. Going to the finals, no. Martin Payne playing the spoiler and breaks it up. What a match this has been here at MKW Bout the Road Championship Tournament. Night two, all three men are back up. Now Black Mamba and Aki taking it to Martin Payne. Double team and misses. Oh, Martin Payne clotheslined the hell out of both of them. Martin Payne is at home here. Martin Payne loves to fight. If he could win this match and keep fighting, I'm sure he would. And now Martin Payne swings Aki into the corner. Does the same to Black Mamba. And now he's gonna quarter clothesline the both of them straight to hell. So why not clothesline the both of them in one shot? Oh wait a minute. Aki with the clothesline. In comes Black Mamba. Black Mamba with a miss. In comes Aki. Oh man, what an impactful move that was. Aki going for a suplex. Aki can win it right here. He wants to move on to the finals. He wants to represent India. Got to set him up for a high risk move and finish him off. And on the road to the finals, watch out for Martin Payne. He's slowly creeping in there. Aki from the top with a crossbody got caught by Martin Payne. Slipped off, but look at the, the power of Martin Payne. Black Mamba's back up, kicked at the thigh of Martin Payne. Aki goes for the pin, but Black Mamba is just right there to break up the count. Roundhouse kick by Aki. Aki's gonna go for that neck breaker. Mamba reverses. Rolling cutter, that's how he beats Selfie King Hong Wan. Black Mamba just needs to go for the cover. He might have it right here. Gonna move on to the finals, and he does. Black Mamba is moving on to the finals. You see that green ladder in the background? The finals will be a ladder match. Congratulations to Black Mamba. Let's check out the replay. Malian Aki went for that neck breaker. But Black Mamba reverses it to the rolling cutter, which has been very effective in this tournament, beating Hong Wan, beating Balian Aki. But now he'll have to climb a ladder to reach for the championship. Watch out the guard, right out the storm. I take my phone though, with a lightning ball right to the floor. I live my life like that is dead. One round third round match will be the one and only world champion match in the second round of the B division. First, let me introduce the champion of Hong Kong, weighing 86 kilos, Ash Silva. Continuing on with our Belt and Road Championship Tournament second round action. This will be our second second round match. Triple threat. Here comes our first competitor representing the stable, Ash Silva. Let's check out what happened with Ash Silva in the first round courtesy of our YouTube channel. Very competitive match. Gets Killer Kublai. Kublai appeared to be impervious to pain. Ash Silva needed to keep on the attack, but still could not put him away several times. At one point in the match, Ash Silva hits the sling blade and then went to the top rope for the dangerous top rope splash. Look at the height he got on that one. One, two, three, and he picked up the victory against Killer Kublai. And now he is here in the second round. He will be taking on Shiho and the Noah Cody Tiger. Ash Silva, of course, always accompanied to the ring by Chairman Al and Lady Marie, always providing that extra advantage towards members of the stable. Your eyes are not deceiving you. Ash Silva.
Silva, the California bad boy, claims to be born in Hong Kong, China. Therefore, representing Hong Kong for the Belt and Road Championship Tournament. Hey, wait a minute. Where did he get that sign? Is that sign for sale? I want to know where he got that sign from. Oh, come on, Ash. I would pay big money to get that sign or that poster, maybe printed on a t-shirt. I want to know where he got that from. Where do you get it? There's one individual that I was glad to see advance in the second round is this man that's about to come out, Shi Ho from South Korea. This guy loves pro wrestling so much, wants to learn as much as he can. Shi Ho advanced to the second round by defeating Mirko Panic. Let's check out some highlights from our YouTube channel. Just check out how Shi Ho did against a bigger man of Mirko Panic. Shi Ho with the athletic ability. Look at that running drop kick. Almost launches Mirko Panic into the crowd. And then the tides will turn. Where Mirko Panic dominates for several minutes. Cartwheel splash. Belly to belly suplex. And another one. Luckily Shi Ho got out of the way. With that top rope moonsault inside Cradle. And then Shi Ho picks up the victory and advances here at the second round here in this triple threat match. Winner takes on Black Mamba. Who is it going to be? The Tigress sound could only mean one thing. The Noah Cody Tiger the national treasure of Nepal, a true hero of Nepal. He had to have a motorcade accompany him to and from the airport in both Nepal and China. I'm surprised he doesn't have a, a motorcade coming up to the ring. Tiger defeated MKW's own Triple T. Let's check out the highlights of the match. Triple T chopping the hell out of Tiger. Both men are quite large, but check out the athletic ability of Tiger here. Head scissors take down Triple T, but this is the large turning point of this matchup where Triple T injures his knee. Goes right down, but Tiger does not go after the knee at all during the match. Wanted the match to be fair. Tiger goes for a top rope elbow and picks up the victory against Triple T. That's how he got to the second round here at the MKW Belt and Road Championship Tournament. Who's going to advance to the finals here? One of these three men potentially could be your next Belt and Road Champion. Who's going to face Black Mamba in a ladder match during the finals? We have three potentially great matchups. Tiger with his strength. How is he going to fare against Black Mamba in the ladder match? Shiho High Flyer could do very well against Black Mamba in a ladder match. Ash Silva versus Black Mamba could be a classic as well. What a camera shot that is. You can see the belt and road championship belt hanging up in the rafters. Could one of these three men be our next champion? What is Ash Silva doing? What is Ash doing trying to negotiate with Shiho? Ash Silva offering Shiho some money. Chairman Al's money. Is Shiho going to accept this? Ah, that's exactly what I thought. It's not in Shiho's character 
to accept dirty money, especially from Chairman Al. Finally gonna get out of the way in this matchup. Shiho Tiger playing tether ball with Ash Silva's head. Ash Silva being flipping and flopping around right now like he was in a bouncy castle. Scoop slammed by Tiger. Look at the pain on Ash Silva's face. Ash Silva rolls to the outside. Gonna regroup. Oh, wait a minute. Schoolboy roll up. No, just a two count. Ash Silva still in too much pain. Could not get in there to break up the count. Luckily, Tiger manages to kick out. Shiho with the head scissors. Oh, man. Look at the way Tiger landed near the ropes. That smack might have hyperextended the knee, but he appears to be okay. Shiho continues to take it to the Noah Cody Tiger. And that's the power that comes into play from Tiger. The strongest man in this match. Ash Silva continues to stay outside. Oh, just Shiho got tripped up. Uh, going for the leapfrog. Noah Cody Tiger sticking out his shoulder. And Shiho landed awkwardly on the canvas. Another hard shoulder check by Tiger. Ash Silva, interesting strategy by him. Waiting on the outside, allowing the other two to beat the hell out of each other. And when the time is right, I'm sure he's going to sneak in there to steal the victory. Shiho, this guy loves professional wrestling so much. Wants to learn as much as he can while here in China. He even came up to me, asked me to give him some advice on how to do play-by-play, -play, pro wrestling commentary, how to set up the commentary table and how the headsets and how the buttons work and everything. Ash Silva, what is he doing now? He's just sitting in front row. Ash Silva playing spectator. I guess he has this match in the bag. He knows what he's doing. He's got a strategy going that we don't know about. Look at these chops by Shiho. Oh, Cody Tiger just asking for more. What a chop and down goes Shiho just like that. If I was Ash Silva, I wouldn't want to get in there either after seeing and hearing the, the impactfulness of that chop. Luckily for Ash, this is triple threat rules. First fall to the finish, and there are no countouts or disqualifications. Looks like Ash Silva might actually be sneaking his way in there to get in the ring for the first time in this match. Noah Cody Tiger dropping that elbow. This could be it. If there was an ever a good time to get into the ring to break up that count, that would have been it for Ash Silva. But Ash wants to come in with an impactful move. That top rope flying back elbow takes out Tiger. That's a little bit too close to the ropes. Referee couldn't even make a count. But this has been Ash Silva's strategy all along. Noah Cody Tiger and Shiho has been wrestling for about five minutes already and Ash Silva, fresh as a daisy, comes in and can have his pickings on either Shiho or Tiger. Oh, look at that flying kick right to the face of Ash Silva. Lady Marie better check on the face of Ash Silva. He has a commercial shoot tomorrow morning. Drop kick by Tiger. Noah Cody Tiger representing Nepal representing the Paul Ring Wrestling Association. He wants to advance to the finals. He wants to bring the belt and road championship home to Nepal. Oh, watch out, watch out. Oh, man, what a feel. Look at the excruciating pain on the face of Shiho. Here comes Ash Silva back in the ring. And just like that, Tiger catches him, punches him a few times, and out goes Ash Silva. The power of the Noah Cody Tiger. And just like that, Ash is back out. Gonna go take a break. Smart strategy by Ash Silva. Ash Silva comes back in. Couple of right hands to the face of Tiger. Ash Silva finally getting some offense in this matchup. I mean, he's been absent for over half the match, but while Ash and Tiger battling out in the ring, the Korean sensation Shiho on the top rope. Missile drop kick takes out both 
Ash Silva and Tiger. Shiho learned so many styles of pro wrestling. American style, lucha style, European style, Japanese style. Shiho wants to take the belt and road championship back to pro wrestling society, the promotion that he runs. Chairman Al trying to start a let's go Ash chant, but he's the only person in this building that's chanting. Now we're back to Shiho versus Tiger once again. Nepal versus South Korea. Four up shots to Tiger. Shiho setting him up. Oh, flying forearm, but still. Noah Cody Tiger does not go down. How tough is this man from Nepal? Ash Silva holding on to the leg of Tiger. Ash really playing these cat and mouse games. Ash Silva with this strategy could be the smartest man in this triple threat match. Shiho lands a kick to the back of the head of Tiger. Almost an insigiri there. Ash Silva trying to get back in the ring. Shiho with a springboard dropkick takes out Ash Silva. One action here in the second night of the Belt and Road Championship. We still got Cam Ferguson versus Killer Kublai. We got a six man tag. We got Uncle Money versus Zombie Dragon. Stay tuned to our YouTube channel. Make sure you are subscribed to us. What is Shiho gonna do here? Double jump, top rope, cross body. All the way to the outside, takes out both Ash Silva and the Noah Cody Tiger. Shiho with the high risk move. He's willing to risk it all for the belt and rope championship. That's how much he wants it. He wants to win and he wants to make South Korea proud. Shiho senses that victory is near. Come on, Tiger. He's going to go for another top rope, high risk move. He's going to take out the Noah Cody Tiger once and for all, but no. Got caught by Tiger. Tiger with a front face lock. Slingshot suplex, nicely done. Could go for the pin here, but no. He's going to set him up for, for perhaps a top rope elbow. That's how he defeated Triple T in the first round. Noah Cody Tiger, top rope elbow, that's it. All Tiger has to do is go for the cover, and he'll be able to advance to the finals. Taking on Black Mamba. Watch out for Ash Silva. Ash hits the code breaker. Down goes Tiger. Not like this, hooks the leg. Oh my goodness. What a travesty of justice, Ash Silva steals the victory. Let's check out the replay, Noah Cody Tiger with the flying elbow. But Ash Silva catches Tiger with a code breaker, hooks a leg. Shiho tries to make the save but could not make it in time. And Ash Silva advances to the finals. He will be taking on Black Mamba in a ladder match for the MKW Belt and Road Championship. After two nights of tournament action, this is what the finals look like. Coming up, Cam Ferguson versus Killer Kublai. Also six-man tag team action. We'll be right back.